Hi guys, it's me, Laura at Tate Baker Restorations. This week, we are in our showman, the M4A2, but I'm actually sitting in the bow gunner stroke assistant driver. So in a minute, we're gonna be having a look around and seeing what that person did. Right guys, so do you remember last week where I was? I was in the driving seat. Well, week two, I'm not. I'm actually in the bow gunner a slash assistant driver spot. So let's have a little look and see. Like just remember, it's really tight in here. So let's have a look around. So the bow gunner slash assistant driver would have been used to help the driver reload all the stuff, redo all the supplies, and then also he'll get to know the crew as well, so he'll help them out. It's kind of a nice place to be, but it's hard at the same time, really, I think. So it's hard because like the assistant driver is like nine times out of ten the newest crew member. So this is so that he can learn from the other crew members and the ways of the tank. If a crew member gets injured or has to leave the tank, he would take his position. In this position, this is closest to the escape hatch, which is just behind the seat. I think I like to be just there to be fair. As you can see, yet again, is a very tight squeeze. So in combat, he's in charge of the 30 cal. The gun has a very small arc of fire, which means he can only shoot so far left and so far right. Oh, and don't worry, by the way, all our light weapons are always de deactivated. So uh, we like to be safe as well as having the stuff. Can you imagine if they were let me loose with one of them? Yeah, it won't go down too well. So obviously we will always make sure our stuff is safe. He would have used his pet pedoscope to use to aim and to trace the rounds to figure out where his rounds are falling, leading this to a fairly inaccurate firing method. So it is not small and compact sort of thing. So the fair cow fires around 400 strokes, 600 rounds a minute. The maximum distance can be fired about 1,500 meters. An ammo box has 250 rounds. As you can imagine, they would have gone quite quick. So you would have needed a few of them to have about. So, it's, I suppose it would have been a quite a good job to be a co-driver, like to learn about the tank and stuff. But I don't know if I could actually do this position, to be fair. It's quite a lot on you to help the driver out. And it's, yeah, again, it's a very tight squeeze. So, guys, thank you so much for today, and I'll see you next week. Bye.